you don't need faith you say what God says because that's your expression of faith hello dear I know by the grace of God you are fine faith is very important in one's life because you need it so that it fuel you so that the word of God will manifest in you so that you can get internal rest in your life any pastor or any person who tells you that faith is not important that person wants to put a taint in your consciousness of Christ I'm going to show you a quick video from Prophet Hubert Angel. He said, you don't need faith. Let's listen to what he said in this video. Now, watch this now. So you can get to a seventh dimension and realize when you get to the seventh dimension, you don't need faith. Now, now, you, you're missing it. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen that means faith deals with proof you didn't hear this that means faith only deals with evidence not the real thing see see you see they didn't get it no 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 faith is the evidence only if somebody says i have the evidence that you committed the crime that means they were not there when you committed the crime Commitment of the crime is the real thing, but the evidence proves the real thing. So then faith is the substance of things hoped for. So if I hope for something, I have proof of the thing I'm hoping for, so that I can get the thing I'm hoping for. And if it is the evidence of things not seen, that means I have not seen the thing. I just have the evidence of what I haven't seen. Now when I get what I need to see, and now it's here, I let go of the evidence. I am with uh, Pastor Mochi here. We're on top of a mountain, Mount Everest, Mount Kilimanjaro, Mount whatever. I left Mount Zion because Mount Zion is no fossils. So while it's up with him like this, and we are looking for the bones of T-Rex, evidence that it existed if you don't know t-rex just say dinosaur now no, everyone is smiling now they're like now we are here with you now somebody was thinking it's some some rapper in america <laughs> called t-rex <laughs> you know you never understand our people so wallace is standing with me like this and we are digging for uh, bones and then he grips uh, the bone of T-Rex it's a long one he says here I've got the evidence I say man we have evidence and when we we call the media team in that day I believe they will be sharp with their cameras and they begin to film and comment and, and everything and everything is working. And then we say, look, this is the bone. We are live now around the world. We are showing them the bone of T-Rex. While it's everybody is going, well, yes, yes, we got it. It existed. The, the only thing, the thing I was calling for, never gotten. Now here it is. Are you hearing this? So the bone is here and we are live. Everyone is like, wow, wow, wow. These things existed, man. They were there in those days. Wow. This is something. Aish. What does it mean? I say, ah, no. This means dinosaurs used to exist. What do we have? Evidence. We have faith. So they didn't get it. What do we have? Evidence. Now that means we have what? Faith. faith. Now all of a sudden, we hear And the life is getting excited. What is that? What is that? And we are excited with our bond here. Say, so it's a bond. Yeah. Then we hear some squealing noise. We have all watched National Geographic. We know that squealing noise is from T-Rex. We turn around. Oh, there is T-Rex. Me and Pastor Muchi with our bonds, we run holding the bonds. No! They will wear us down. Drop the bones. Run. We dropped faith because we saw the real thing. 
Uh, you are not getting it. You don't wake up thinking, I need to breathe here. Early in the morning, just go, ah. So, oh, 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 oh. If I want to survive here, let me breathe. <laughs> Breathing becomes normal. So when you get to the seventh dimension, faith is something you are unconscious of. The moment you start thinking, I have got a praying in my leg, I believe, I believe it's good. But confession without possession is faith at a junior level. Faith should lead to possession. Should lead to possession. If you are traveling in prayer and you go for seven hours and nothing comes out of your seven hours, you wasted time and you were not praying. Because your prayer should lead to an answer. So we have generals who pray a lot in here, in this church here. Prayerful, prayer warriors, as if prayer is a battle. Who are you fighting? And crying, crying. Crying is okay at one stage. But not you just start prayer. Cry. The noise we hear from you. And no result. If a woman goes to the labor ward and begins to have contractions and, and pushes and pushes and pushes and pushes and pushes, nothing comes out. She can't say, I, I gave birth. We will say you wasted time. Man of God, you don't understand. The water's broke. Ha! I'm excited. When? Last week. Are you giving birth to a rhinoceros? Your faith is nowhere to be seen. And then you try to crank it up when time comes. Yet faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. It is only in Christianity where faith is intelligency. Because the Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. That means you get information to your faith. So when you get to a seventh dimension, you know for sure something can happen here. Pastor Chris responded on how to grow your feet. Second Corinthians chapter 5, now verse 18. Read. Again. One more time. Of who? All things are passed away. All things are become new. Now in the next verse it tells us, all these new things are of God. So the cancer is not of God. So what do I say? All things are passed away. So this cancer is passed away. Now, I can still feel the cancer. But God says it is passed away. So I say, cancer, you are passed away. My body has become new. Impermeable to cancer. That's God's expectation. That becomes my proclamation. The cancer is passed away. My body has become new because I got a new life in me now. And this new life destroys cancer. Because it is of God. Now, how does that work? Well, First and foremost, you say it. You say what God says. Because that's your expression of faith. You say what God says. You trust what God says. Build your faith in Christ. Build your faith very well. Let the consciousness of Christ to be in you. So that you can manifest your faith. So that when you are no more on this planet Earth, you can get a better place for your soul. Thank you very much for watching this video and God richly bless you.